Keynote is a great tool for creating original artwork and illustrations. I'm going to show you how just using the simple shapes tools allows you to become an artist all within Keynote. We're going to start with a new standard sized white presentation theme and we'll actually delete out the placeholders so that we just have a white canvas. Maybe zoom it down just a little bit so we can see the edges of our canvas. And we're going to build an ice cream cone as our first original graphic here. So we'll start with the shape of the cone, a triangle, and um, extend it out so that we have a tall, skinny triangle. Um, we do need to rotate that. So in our Shapes Inspector, in the, over here in the Arrange tab, we'll first rotate that triangular triangle shape so that it is 180 degrees from the way that we initially started so that the tip is pointing down. Um, we're going to fill this with a different color because we want it to look like a cone. So we'll go back to the Style tab. Um, we could do Advanced Image Fill and choose some of the pre-selected colors. We could also do a solid image. Let's just choose a gradient and let's blend together a couple shades of brown. So we'll, um, we don't see one here in the color picker. Let's click on the color palette and we can choose from a regular brown here. And for the second color, let's go back out to here and you know, this one might choose, might need a little bit more uh, of selecting of a color that's nearby the brown. So we could start with the brown, go over into the, um, slider and then change the, the shading or the tone of that brown and at any of these colors you can select a color that matches something else on your screen anything you can um, use the the color dropper and actually click inside of any other color on your screen here I'm getting some I'm sampling some gray from the actual toolbar menu um, and you can also take any color that you have um, being used at a current time and drag it into one of your holding spots so that you can use it again and again. Um, let's go ahead and go with this kind of gradient from gray to brown and, and call that our ice cream cone color. We can obviously change the um, angle at which that gradient is applied. And one other thing that I want to do to make this ice cream cone look a little more three-dimensional is just sh add a shadow, a curved shadow that you can kind of see adds some depth to it. All right, next we'll make our ice cream. So let's start with a um, circular shape. Blue ice cream isn't probably a typical flavor. So let's go ahead and change that um, fill on the shape that we have selected to something that would be our ice cream, preferred ice cream flavor. Let's go with some grape or raspberry. Um, again, if you want to add a little bit of a shadow to it, it might give it some three-dimensional shape or without. I'm going to drag this down and actually make it a little bit smaller so we have some more room on the top of our cone. Okay, now we need the ice cream to drip over the edge. So we're going to use another shape um, that's actually the pen tool in the shapes palette. And this one works by defining the endpoints. So I'm going to click when I want to point and I'm going to click and drag when I want to curve. So I'm going to start up here. I'm going to click. I'm going to click. For this next one, I'm going to um, click and drag, and you can see it kind of adds an, a beveled edge. Then I'm going to click to make a point, and then come out here and click and drag to get a curve, and then click, and then click and drag to make a curve, and then click, and then click and drag to make a curve, and then click, and then click and drag to make a curve, and then click. Now, for the pen tool to actually make a, a shape, I have to enclose it, so I have to come back to where I started and hit enter. But now this is defined as, um, as a full complete shape. So I can take it and fill it, select it first, take off the borderline and fill it with the same color as my ice cream. And I'm actually going to join the two together. So I'm going to select the fringes of the ice cream, hold down my command key, and select the scoop of ice cream and go up to the format menu down to shapes and lines and unite those two shapes. So now it becomes one intersected um, scoop of ice cream. Um, I, another cool thing in here under the format shapes and lines menu is to make it editable. And now every 
um, handle, every end point can be adjusted exactly like so. And you can decide. I mean, it really gives you the freeform ability to feel like an illustrator or an artist. All right, so we're going to hit enter. Um, we could actually duplicate that scoop of ice cream and paste it on top. So we could copy and paste and maybe change this color to another color. And we've got a double decker um, shape, a scoop of ice cream, double decker ice cream cone. Let's put it into more vanilla. Um, it's, not, it's, no, it's worth noting that you can arrange these shapes by sending them backward and forward if you want to change the order of the ice cream as well. All right. So now we need a cherry on top. Let's go ahead and get a circle shape. Put it up, position it where we want it. We definitely want this to be colored with a red fill. We can just choose that from the styles menu if we don't mind a little bit of texture. And let's add a stem on top of our cherry. For the stem of the cherry, I'm just going to use this curved line from the shapes menu and position it where it needs to be on top of the cherry and definitely shorten it a bit here and change that curvature so it's not quite as big and bold. But I might want to make it a little bit thicker. So in my stroke, I'm just going to change the points or the thickness of it and maybe tone it down a little bit so it's not quite so um, dark black. All right, there we have our um, cherry on top of our ice cream cone. Others. So for this one, we are going to illustrate a bite out of the ice cream cone. We'll just go ahead and use that pen tool once again, and we'll start with a straight line, but then click and click and drag to uh, make a curved line. Again, click to make a point, and then click and drag to make a curve, and then click to make a point, and then click and drag to make a curve. And we'll close this up and hit enter so that we now have this kind of um, teeth mark shape. So select our illustrated teeth marks, hold down our command key, click the cone as well so that both shapes are selected. Go up to the format menu, down to shapes and lines, and subtract shapes. What it does is it takes the bite out of the cone. Let's send this back to the back, arrange, send to back. I'll pull this down just a little bit more and this just a little bit more, and then let's select all of our shapes by click holding and dragging um, around the outside edges of all the shapes. They're all selected. Um, come to our Arrange menu and group them together, and now I have one illustration um, that I can resize, that I can copy and paste and duplicate, that I can animate. Wow, I feel like an artist.